Hey, YT World, this is your girl, La Kiki, Miss D. That see that that is. And this. Edward. And this. Edward. Hold on. Take two, and this. Ed. I'm sorry, I meant to say take four, and I. I already said it. Edward. Ed. Yeah. Ed. This your boy, Ed. Yes. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> Big brother. I'm sorry. I'm late with it because I was gambling all night. And I'm so mad. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I'm so glad that the sister made it out. But the brother. Why didn't the brother make it out? Why did the brother make it out? Literally. And the way he broke down today on the show. And those were not tears on sight. Those was real strong strength tears. That was like. I just got out the Underground Railroad, just made it to a piece of freedom, and then they sent me right back to slavery. That's how the, the feeling that he had, that was the feeling that he had. His, you history, didn't see it. History he didn't see anything, show. you guys, so history he don't know anything that's show. going on. Because I already hip. I, I, it always happens. I hip him on these things. It always happens. And only history, he watched sometimes. History repeats Dad, you going to talk over me through the whole thing? No. History, been history, history, history. Uh, it's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like we were, we we're in chains. We've been in, we've been in chains. We still in chains. You thought it was freedom? Juneteenth don't mean a goddamn on thing. Or Fourth of July. But they having fun. It's still July. chains everywhere we go. And for some reason, we still handcuffed on Big Brother. I don't understand. Don't count the first black person uh, to win celebrity. Big Brother uh, as Tamar. That's celebrity. Big Brother. That's coins. That's business moves. She is. I'm sorry, but. The coon of all black people. I mean, people. other than other than Kevin Hart, she's the coon of all black people. So, that's coins. Go ahead with your all. But, but out of all the people that that's on that show, they picked the first two black people. No, it's not. He hasn't been watching you guys, so just don't don't mind his little comment. He's just seeing from now. I think you start seeing from Tyler season. You start seeing from Tyler season. But I know the best he hates big brother watching it actually. Person. Is it's, what? It's Netta. 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 He keep confusing <laughs> celebrity I mean he keep confusing Big Brother um Canada and Big Brother UK because we watch it all. Big Brother Canada, Big Brother oh, yeah. UK. And all Before of, I even met him, I was watching first. Uh, Australia. Like, bring Australia back, bring UK back because what if BB US keep going like this, we're gonna need them to come back because this this is not enough. This is not enough. And celebrity is too short and dry for me. Cookie cutter. But what? Um, I, but what I learned from watching all the different Big Brothers out of the UK, Canada, all that stuff. All of them the same. They're going to get rid of the black person first. Or not necessarily first, but they're going to make sure they... They don't win. They're going to, show, um, going to make sure uh, they don't the final win, two. period. Final it two. sometimes don't even go to the jury. They don't even the want them in the jury. second place get money, too? Second place get 50000 Yeah. I, mm. But in Canada, uh, no. It's just only one person win. In Canada, they don't have a... I don't believe... I don't... Yeah, I don't believe Canada has a second place uh, winner's check. It's just one winner, pretty much. And that's, that's sad, though. Yeah, the but they but they're there. better in Canada. So I, yeah, I, I think they do more um sh strategic talk and all that in Canada more than U.S. Anyway, but let's get back on this episode. Mm. I ain't doing no recap. I'm doing my feelings because for for real, for real, um, I'm in my feelings about this episode. Um, and I'm just going to throw things out there like um, uh, Sam Smith. I'm tired of hearing your dad going truck jokes already. I know producers are making you do your little, uh, beep, beep. You know, uh, I, I hit a few, uh, raccoons, deers and whatever, whatever. Uh, and what do you say? Uh, what is this thing that came in the house? The squirrel. I had a few squirrels. I had a few run-ins with their family and all that. <laughs> breaker, breaker, one nine face ass. You know, no. Nobody cares about these jokes. Please don't make us go through the whole season already. David is off, and then we got to see you, the non-Sam Smith, Sam Smith. Mm. You know, nobody cares about your jokes. Please don't do that no more. I'm tired of it already. Christmas was done. Uh, who else was done? Uh, even the Quack Pack was done. The, I mean, I'm sorry. The Quack Pack? Not the Quack Pack. I mean, that was a dumb lion's name anyway. 
but I like some of the people in it. But uh, not not the Quack Pack. But what's, what is it, what's the other joint? Uh, uh, Zach Zach and uh, Zach and Frankie. I forgot their uh, their dumb alliances. I have these alliances. I'll be forgetting because there are they are forgettable. You only remember a few players in it, especially if you didn't make it to top four or anything like that. I mean, it's pretty much a pointless. Pointless, 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 pointless um, alliance. But anyway, I was happy when Kimmy said, um, I might be screaming a lot in this video because this episode boiled Do my blood. It boiled my blood. I said, come thing. on out here. Stop acting like you're going to P. Diddy party. We need to come out here. <laughs> We need, to, we, we need to come out here and we need to do this video so that I can get my feelings out because I'm so heated. Hold on, hold on. You said P. Diddy party. P. Diddy party. You For always me? come out and dress like you oh, always got to like, take like so long like he's about to go to. I didn't know you were talking, talking about me. I thought you were talking about the show. No, I'm talking about you. But, uh, Damn. But, um, Kimmy, she, everybody come in there like, well, Nicole, wait. Well, you know, I don't know what to say, but... You scratch my back, I scratch yours. I do something for you, you do something for me, you know? I, I mean, you do something for me, I do something for you. I mean, that's all I can see. Scratch my back, scratch yours. I mean, eh, what else? The New Yorker accent, all I can all I can say, I don't know. I don't know. They just talk like they have extra saliva in the back of their throat and just trying to hold it in. I don't know, you know? Oh, all I can say. Like, but anyway, mm. that's a different story. <laughs> And Jersey and Boston, all of them got like spit stuck right now in the back of their cheek or throat, or something like that. And like, 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 but, but anyway, that's just my thing. It's just annoying me. She's annoying. The only New Yorker I like in there is is Tommy. Oh, 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 don't take me like all that dramatic Broadway. Yeah. He definitely playing up for the cameras as well, but I mean, he's 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 the cutesy part of the camera player that we actually enjoy because it's not all day, all through the whole feeds doing the same thing over and over and over again. You can tell when it's your genuine self or when it's just like, hey, I'm Aquaman. I'm the only Jack that can be jacked up like this, so I'm not like playing to the camera like a mug. But I'm jumping all over the place, you Kimmy. Are. You are. I, my feelings is everywhere. So, Kimmy. Did she even talk in this? Kimmy did talk. Kimmy said, Hello. I can't Goodbye. wait. I can't wait to, you know what? Let me say what she said beforehand. Everybody up there kissing his door. A, mm. sugar, sugar. Because he in the call. I like doing my own little diary speech alone, you know? Because it gets raunchy and it gets raw. But, um. Damn. But uh, she, everybody up there kissing his butt or whatever. She downstairs and she like <laughs> eating her little food. Like um, he ain't scratching my back. He ain't do nothing for me. Why I'm kissing his butt for? Why I'm kissing his butt for? Mm. Well, he ain't do nothing for me. I'm gonna sit right here, keep eating my watermelon on my uh, grapes, which already probably pissed them off because you're like, oh, you taking a piece of my watermelon? I see her. I'm in the freaking um, HOH room. I was like, no, not the HOH room, but you know, I, I'm seeing her from the sky, the, the sky zone, eat my freaking watermelon. Mm. Too many black people in here eating that watermelon. I need one to two watermelons a day to myself. It's too many black people. So let me banish them first. Let me banish them first. Because it's too much watermelon eating don't out here. Share. Don't want to share his watermelon. So it can be eating the watermelon downstairs. Not even coming up there to say, hey, thank you yeah, for letting me not. be here to eat some watermelon. She ain't she ain't appreciate him letting her be there. Him be there. The production mm. pet be there to eat his watermelon. Oh, everybody supposed to bow down to you first? No, kiss my A. Um yeah, I'm going to sit here and eat this watermelon and then uh, you come approach me if you want me to be a part of something. Like, if you want to, if you want me to be here with you or you want to do something with me, you come to me. You ain't no HOH. You're the freaking camp leader. You're lead. And then he not even a leader at that. Mm. Jack, that didn't want to be a freaking leader, he's the beta fish and all that. He the freaking leader of the whole show. Mm. He was leading the whole show. So I'm going to think so, he going to think that through. Like he, he need to think that through. So he, all he got to do, I mean, whoever kisses ass the most, 
will stay in the house most. What do you want? That's pretty much the game in Big Brother, but it's not even just that because you can kiss, kiss, kiss all you want, and then they gonna backstab you. Oh, pretty, yeah. pretty much, it don't even matter. So all that kissing you doing just to make it into jury he is pathetic. He should have respected her for just sitting there, just chilling. You said what? He should have. He should have respected her more for just chilling. I that's what I'm saying. You respect somebody even though you kind of like, yeah, you ain't right. talk to me. You the easy talker. This is the first day. I think it's the first day or the... Yeah, it was. I think this all happened in the same night. So, uh, but we're just seeing it the second day. It's like, when you don't have nothing to go on, pretty much you're going to pick whoever... You're going to pick the people that's not making an effort with you. But in the same sense, yeah, I would respect somebody just sitting back like, I'm not going to kiss butt. Because she don't know you enough for you to be for you to think that she gonna come after you because she didn't talk to you you should think um maybe she didn't want to just seem like she's doing the most this by begging mm. people that's begging you like that yeah lying, it's gay. i got your back yeah we can do this yeah yeah that's the people to be worried about not kimmy but it's about the watermelon i know it's about the watermelon and all black people don't like Watermelon. I don't yeah, know why they're like stupid for that. I'm not gonna say as a black person because you know you got them fake black per people that's uh we call leftover ass black people. Uh Kimmy would actually be considered one of those actually, but for the fact that she's on the show and she got the little sass with it, like she got the little know where you come from attitude, um, to get where you're going attitude. Uh I'm rooting for her for that sense, but she is the little the one we'd be like, oh, she from Virginia or Love the way ass black person, you know, like, uh, yeah, West Virginia, the, the do the most is the black girl get beat up by the white girl, Jane, and the white girls be acting harder than the black girls there, which I don't understand. Um, I like West Virginia or whatever, but sometimes they be doing the most, mm. doing the most, like, girl, you, like, you're still white at the same time, you're not black, don't try to act harder than the black girls, and then the black girls out there be acting like they're sweet valley, um, getting off subject again but that's just another story another day another time for another soapbox james Boom. kyle because he yeah yeah i always do that but he always do that when they get on the soapbox but anyway i gotta shout that out because i don't want no copyright infringement but anyway um <laughs> i'm so mad Dang. i'm going all over the place i'm so i'm so pissed young he gonna pick the the confederate flag dude the confederate i like guns i like guns johnny bravo chine um the spongebob pants thing was funny as crap but now it's looking like johnny bravo i'm sorry but it's funny i call him johnny bravo too because he walked like in this is chair shop is a mall and then he cut his head and then he cut his chin shop is a mall, like johnny bravo and then he walked like this you can't see in the camera, but he, his hands be straightish, like. But anyway, oh, they trying to take, again. try and take your title. But you gonna have the most Confederate guy pick all diverse people to go into banishment. Talk about some. Uh, I'm gonna upset anybody that come in. You know, this this game. If it's so bad, and it, if it's it, if it was, uh, I can't even get it out. If it was so bad of a decision, why you fight so hard for it? And all of a sudden now trying to backtrack. Hey, you know I'm making too much bad decisions. Oh my God, it's too much pressure on me. We picked you, them, I mean, they, they picked you because you said you can handle the pressure. If nobody want to step on me and somebody got to step up, I got to do it. Do it how you said it in your speech. Tell somebody straight out like that, like you said in your speech. Now you want to act like a little puss and then come back, come in the back room with me, come in the back room with me. And then he all like, I'm glad you got it. I'm like, David, don't be so glad. He was just in there bragging about to uh, to freaking um, Captain Planet mm. that, uh, yeah, you can... Uh, <laughs> You can you can um put them up like it don't matter like just as long as they ain't in our lines and all that and then you and then you said Dave I mean I think he, I'm not not sure whether Jack brought up David name or whether um or whether Johnny Bravo aka Mick Mickey uh brought up David's name but he, had, he why would you think that David was in the daggone um in the votes at all the one that voted you period why would you think that? 
I mean, I know everybody could be lying to you, but the way and the passion he said to you could have should have confirmed it when he said, "I'm so glad you won that banishment." You mean, mean uh, I'm so glad you won that uh, camp counselor. Mm. If that didn't prove to you already with the sincerity in his voice, and you say he's a nice guy, but I didn't come this far uh, to uh, to be nice, and nice doesn't win the game. You got to be cutthroat and all that. And I just want, I'm here for the $500,000 in the Confederate flag. Mm. I thought he said Confederate flag fall down on me. That's what mm. I heard. But he said the confetti. And the, the part of confetti just sound like Confederate to me on him. He would want the Confederate flag to come mm -hmm. down like, dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. I mean, I, I made a wedding bell giant, But it sound like okay. Confederate wedding, wedding too. I hate that. But um, that was just stupid. Him of all people. And they ain't gonna bring him in the room, punk out and bring him in the room. All that trash he was talking with freaking Captain Planet. And he gonna, uh, and he gonna wind, water, earth, fire. Like, for real. And he's the water, obviously. Um, yeah, he gonna do all that talking and then he gonna be like, come in the back, come in the back, come in the back, secret room, secret room. Mm. You know, they ain't gonna say something. How do you feel about being in there with everybody you know i might have to put you in the banishment uh i don't, feel, I don't feel i don't feel particularly I don't well I, mean, would, I don't agree to that how can you break down to somebody and say i want to get you out just on for you to come back in but it's no more bad feelings like no it's it gonna is. be a lot of bad feelings it when is. i come back how stupid can you be telling somebody like i you won't be mad if i in your management right yeah and then when he come back they're gonna aim straight for them that's that's just crazy. Um, yes, and that's what he said. He said he's making stupid moves too too soon, and he just made the wrong move, and he gonna wish he didn't make I, I, that move. Now, now he wish that little that little shit squirted on his fucking face. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you talking about the? Uh, hmm, yeah, that's the, going on a different subject. Um, you you talking about the little the yeah. little irrelevant blue the no, relevant paint slime, that they did? Yeah. Like I did, they did a relevant freaking dust. And this one, and, and the dude, the dude, the fake ass Aquaman, think he was in, in the motherfucker pool. <laughs> Yo, he the weakest one. He did all yeah, that, all that muscle and all that, and you the on, second one off the deck. I think he was like the second or third one off now. the deck on block. I he mean, should, off the uh, the log that they did for the should, head of household. He should definitely cut his head now. Nah, if he cut his head, he don't got nothing going. For real, your face is just mediocre as hell. Yeah. uh I don't see it. I don't see it. I I don't. Um, but anyway, you go for Aquaman stunt double. We get no. He's not no Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa, Drago, like nobody can just come in randomly with some nice hair and just be him. Like he, he got to be a way more body than that as well. Uh -huh. You know. But um, yeah. So. Pretty much, the people that was put in the banishment by the freaking Confederate, uh, um, the Confederate soldier, is freaking an old man, Cliff, a Latin of a, a different ethnicity and a different age range and a different weight range, uh, Jessica, and then you have Kimmy, one black person, and then you have David, another black person. So not only are you taking them out of the house because they ate your watermelons and you gotta mm. have one or two watermelons whole a day, and let me just take the watermelon eating people out first, and then let me take the old man out first because I don't think he gonna be able to come back, and let me take the big girl out too. Mm. <laughs> Those are people you wanna keep in, dumb dumb. Definitely. That's a, people you wanna keep with. in. No, you got, you, not you even making alliance nigga, with them. Got, you got a nigga in there saying the crown sight. Yes, but he don't know that. He, he's not going to use that. He's not going to tell him that. I'm on the crown sight right now. That's fucked up. Yeah, you won't be doing that. Um, <laughs> but I know one thing. He cried like a mug when he when he was the last one in there. And oh, Julie's yeah. like, you might as well give up, David. Damn. Everybody's gone. Like, she said it when she... She ain't had no remorse. The way she Sorry. said it to Casey, it Sorry. was like with some. And it's a thing that I can't stand. He's sitting up there in the dark. Casey was sitting up there in the dark. The same one to one Big Brother last season. She was there in that same game doing that dark, dumb game. And it was like a crapshoot game. And she was lasting. What'd they make her do? 
wear a freaking clown suit. Uh, mm. The little spin. It was a clown suit, which is spin or something like that. A spin suit or whatever. What they make him do? Go home mm. for now. You know, go for now. Go into a hotel for now. Mm. Why they didn't do that for her season? It might not have ended up being Casey if they did if they didn't do that for her. But why all of a sudden now this season you want to make that same dumb crapshoot game a go home for now game? You better have one hell of a sign up for Big Brother to go to a fucking hotel. He exactly at least make me a motherfucking robot. Yeah, at least he could have yeah. got his cry on Could have got made me a fucking robot. He probably would have been the best robot. They, they probably would have been like, I don't Man, never want you to leave the house. Hit that button. Hit the like Boy, button. get out the camera. <laughs> you crazy as crap. <laughs> but um, that that's that's crazy. Like, the way he, the emotion he had when he was saying, look, I wanted to be the first African-American to, to show African-Americans in the in the greatest light yeah. and and, um, and we be the like first that. one to win because technically it was no big brother, but Danielle Reyes, right? Um, I, I always say that, Reyes, whatever. Danielle, <laughs> Danielle from season two that was the only person um, to come close. No. I'm trying to think, was this season two? I believe it was season two. But anyway, I, I got to backtrack because it's been so long that I watched these things. Like, I started watching at season seven. And I, then I um, backtracked and um, went to... Oh, I hope this uh, thing is not saying that it's a little bit hot in here. But um, then I had to backtrack and go to um, season two a little bit. And then I skipped in between some seasons. And then I went back to 7 and watched all the way through again. Because mm. I'm just obsessed with 12 and 13 the most. But I love season 7, too, in the All-Star season that she was on. Uh, Janelle and them. I, you know, certain seasons just I got to watch over again because it was just so exciting. Um, but I'm jumping from everywhere of this everywhere. whole everywhere of this whole thing. This just pissing me off. Everywhere. But the only person that came close was Danielle to ever win as a black person on Big Brother. Other than that, the coon of Tamar and uh, is the only person um, to win on Celebrity Big Brother because that's coins. That's obviously like putting somebody there that um, that every, America loves. Mm -hmm. Everybody already loves. Tamar in a sense that of uh, coonery. And and people want to go home. They, they man, they got they have money to make. They, they ain't trying to stay there and fight. Exactly. It's Tamar. not it's not the same they as had that big shit. brother. You know? Even though Lo uh was uh I'm trying to get home to my tablet. She was Lolo was trying way too hard to win that talking about something. It's not nothing. It's only two hundred fifty thousand at the same sense. It ain't nothing, girl. You was talking about your struggles in the daggone house mm. uh, of living, living and bunking with people in the Olympics. So obviously, it's a struggle for you. I only have a, um, a million dollar car from some, <laughs> like literally, girl. Mm -hmm. um, but this episode pissed me off, and um, she couldn't stop talking. Nicole still is a, a still is a flip flopper, and. The fact that the one person that talk about some, I don't want to have all this blood on my hand and all that, and then I don't want people to be mad at me, gunning for me. Why do you think that David was gunning for you so hard before you banished him? Mm. He was not even gunning for you, period. You just made him gun for you. Mm. And now you're like, I really got to get him out. He really got to go. He really got to go. I only want everybody but him to come back. He really. What makes you think that? Jessica ain't coming for you. Mm -hmm. What makes you think that Kimmy ain't coming for you? Like she said, I'm so happy to get back into this house so I can kill Jackson with kindness and stab him in the mother front. Because, you know, I mean, out of all four of them people, one of them gonna come back and and somebody gonna get him. No, all three of them came well, back. It was only all... one. That was only David. The fourth person was gone mm. for now. And what is this for now? It better be like Caitlyn. It better be like 
a quick uh, eight piece puzzle or something like that where he could come back in immediately and they'd be like, oh, you thought he was gone here first week? <laughs> no, that was just a joke. That was just to get the party started. <laughs> that was just to like get the blood flowing and everything. Like we have it's potential in David. It's the black community off. That's what it was. But it's also to me for them to hype the game up to get it started, to get everybody started because it's it, they didn't want it to be like summer camp because it was summer camp. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they like, oh, this is a really the start the pissing off party right here and get this blood flowing so they're going to use the black guy to to do it mm. they didn't know necessarily whether he was going to come be the last one or not because it was a crap shoot game. game but if you gave Ch Casey that chance and she ended up winning the whole thing and she was supposed to be out the first night you better do that for David as well. Like, you better do that for David. I'm just seriously saying CBS, for real. Yeah. And I've been CBS biggest, not CBS, but Big Brother's biggest fan. Well, no, CBS. Because yeah. I watch Survivor, that. I watch the, uh, I'm, I like the I'm watching, about to watch the Love Island. And what else I watch? But I think the other one's on Fox. Um, the little other couple of game or whatever. Mm, CBS got cut down. Right? Yeah, but I watch a lot of stuff on here. If y'all do this for real, for real, like, yeah. I don't know how much longer I could be a fan. I think it'll only come down to Survivor, period. And that'd be halfway getting on my nerves as well. But the Definitely fact that no black people actually went on Survivor and they loosened the strands a little bit. It's more controversial in Big Brother than it is on um, Survivor for black people. I don't know why. But um, what else to say? The, the, the HOH competition was just a jo another joke period. It's going to get worse and um, worse next year. Yeah. Jack is weak. Like, all the men, Sam, uh, what you call it? Jack and Nick, invisible at, like, for real. Like, you're invisible in the house. You should not be there over David, period. Um, they're falling off and they're supposed to make this alliance. Nick, uh, Jack, Jackson, Isabella, Christy, and Harley, of all people. Which is actually kind of a good combination, but it's just the wrong people. I would I would have thought that Catherine would have been part of Jackson's uh Jackson's thing. That's what I would have thought of. I I mean the fact that they are considered to be knowing each other and all that. I thought that Catherine would have been a part of it. But what the heck is Catherine anyway? What the heck is Catherine like? I don't hear I don't see her or hear her on the show. Period. She ain't one of them walls. No, Catherine. Let me see. Sorry, people. Can't do that. Oh, no, I can't do that. I was trying to see if... Uh, <laughs> I was trying to see if... Uh, because this looked like we fading out or whatever. And it looked like it's getting a little dark. And I'm not sure why. But the um, phone is hanging in this car on my dashboard. So maybe the sun is saying, like... Making the tone go down, I guess, of the camera. But, um... That's the iPhone one. Pretty much, um... That that HOH competition, uh, uh, you already know it was coming down to um, Annalise, Holly, Christy, and Tommy, and uh, Annalise and Holly drop. So it was down to Tommy and uh, Christy. The fact that they know each other and they got to talk and all that, and then we realized that their relationship didn't leave off too great with the family, because obviously Tommy's all about family. I'm all about family, so I hope my family forgive me. Um, but I gotta do what I gotta do in this house, in this big brother house, you know. So I gotta team up with Christy, and I hope they forgive me. But but I just the way I gotta play, talk. like just pretty much, you know. Like I gotta do what I gotta do, you know. So he had to uh, team up with her pretty much, but then they gonna keep it low key. She's like, Thomas, do you know? He's like, Don't call me Thomas. Mm. Don't call me Thomas. You don't you don't own that name anymore. You're not part of the family. Call me Tommy. Mm. You don't don't call me Thomas. Thomas is what my mother called me. Thomas is what my sister called me. Not you. You don't call me that. You don't get to call me that. You don't you don't get to call me that. I, okay? I, I won't call you that. Call me Tommy. Okay, I'll call you Tommy. Okay. So, <laughs> that was my best New Yorker accent that I could do in this house, you know, because I'm all the way D dot C dot. You know, I'm just saying. All the way D C. If you don't know, now you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> I don't have nothing else more to say about this daggone episode. Like, everything pissed me off. I can't wait to Kimmy, Jessica, F. Christy A. right now. Because all that little that little leak internet talk about you. Um, I don't trust Mickey, but Mickey's on my alliance. Really? Mm. Mickey's on your alliance? 
and you talk about and you talk about him behind his back, girl. That's gonna be a long time till we see you do anything to him, or if you ever do anything to him. So nah, not a not 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 a fan right now for her neither. I'm only about the people that's gonna uplift and freaking take over and freaking get all them out. Mm. Isabella, I have hope for. This she's the only one that I have hope for out of that clique. She's just like I'm falling in line. Like, oh, we have six now. I thought it was three. I thought it was me, you, mm. and um J Jackson and um. Jack, I thought it was me and, and y'all, the three. Now we have three more? Okay. I mean, it's all in my mind. Slide to the if, left. It felt like Christy lap as well, but Christy, you t doing all that bout it, bout it, ain't bout it, bout it, you know? I don't want to hear that. You have the HOH. You could put this whole house back in order and mm. reconstruct it and everything, but you don't know what's best for your game, so I can't even be mad at that because if a lion's fell in my lap, uh-huh, 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 uh -huh. let game. somebody else do it and da da da, -da. So... But you don't need to talk all that crap yeah, off, off, off the camera And then you ain't gonna do nothing about it Don't hint and, and tease us like you're gonna do something And you're gonna sit right there like Casey and all them And go every day, every week like your alliance For your alliance, pretty much mm -hmm. Nah That's a smart thing to do But just do it, don't talk don't yeah. do all that talk like, oh, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to, unless the producer's making you, obviously, then we got to deal with that crap. But nobody's trying to hear that crap every freaking week. Definitely I'm don't. going to, I'm just going to keep riding this until it's time to cut them, 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 until it's time to cut them. And it's like that on week nine. Mm. Literally. Nobody trying Ain't to hear all that shit. all the way, all the way to that time. I'm trying to see action now. I need to see freaking Gator Mouth go. You know? Gator Mouth. Yes. So we going, so then they have this little, uh, uh, what is it called? What do they call it? Oh, camp comp, something comp, whack comp, wacky comp that's coming wacky. up. They got this wacky comp that's coming up. And young, that is on. Sunday or Tuesday I think it's Sunday or Tuesday where um, the wacky cops come in and then um, the, the Sunday is the power of the first power of veto competition mm. and then Wednesday is now the eviction day no Friday they put you in the middle of the week hump day that's supposed mm. to be a nice day hump your ass right out hump day they cutting you on hump day you that's the re that's I mean, the relief I mean, day. I mean, Look, you got day. young sorry, viewers looking sorry, at this and all that stuff. Me. Yeah, but um, that's crazy now. But this wacky comp thing that's coming up, like you have the power to uh, get the power in the game, whatever. So I'm, I'm. They said a power that's great and you know a game changer and all that. So you know it's going to be the power of veto, the ultimate power of veto. You can replace two people and and put them. Replace them with uh, take two people over the block and replace them with other two people, or uh, what's some other things? Uh, mm. uh, you could be safe yeah. in a game for You're a couple weeks or something person. like that. You can make the ultimate decision of whoever, e even if they put somebody um, on the block and then they win the power veto, take them off, and then put somebody in uh, on the block and try to back door them. You can still take them off after they do their ceremony like it's, it's going to be a couple of things that they could do in that um sense it's going to be something like that pretty much or you can decide with the camp leader as as a camp assistant leader to make your decision of like they could pick one person to uh put on a block and you can make the other decision of the other person to put on a block and it's nothing they can do about it it's going to go either that way mm. that would be great that will be great. You got the camp counselor and then you or the camp leader and then you have the assistants. You always have the other camp leaders as well. Mm -hmm. Like the little camp leaders, supervisors or whatever, and the the people that sleep in your room with you and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah. That you don't listen to at all. You go out and do your own thing like we always, always do. do. But anyway, they have their decisions too. You always need one. It can't be one person running the whole the, camp the directors are normally like going off to meetings and things like that while they have like little like the, leaders around but so this is not like real camp this is supposed to be like a fake babe bb well, uh real camp well if it is it should be a lot of showmans what a scary story is that that's what i'm trying under, to figure under, out under the covers showmans 
Don't body do nothing under them or, covers. Or, they do it in the woods. Or behind the porta potty. No, they don't have no porta potty. They have like an outside showers and and you know outside bathroom drinks and whatever. But if, where the if scary stories at? Like there were the s'mores at? Where where the freaking graham crackers, s'mores, marshmallows, chocolate, anything? It's only been episode two. They dry. They supposed to introduce that first. But anyway, I cannot wait to see this uh, power take hold. And until then, I holla. Peace out. Yeah. Subscribe. We out. Don't like, forget to share. like and subscribe. Share, share. Hey, uh, follow me on Instagram. Ed Clipperhand. <laughs> and follow your girl on Instagram. Oh, Lord. At me as I am. That's M E A Z E Y E. You know it's going to be down below. Subscribe. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please. I holla. We holla. Bye.